Howdy folks, welcome back to another tech tip of the week. Uh, this week we're going to talk about EverFi. EverFi is a great um, supplemental tool for classroom teaching. It has tons of these online courses that teach everything from finances to uh, literacy to digital literacy and safety um, to sustainability and math. So if you have something that you're working on, you can check out this uh, website. It's a free resource for teachers to use. You can create a classroom for your, your students to work through. And it has pre and post evaluations and you can track student progress all along the way. So it's great for that formative assessment, give you an idea of where your students are at, and it helps to reinforce certain concepts. So let's have a look at it. Let's log into EverFi here. You just have to log in with your school and your name and a bit of that information. It should have your school listed there already. And we'll just have a look at some of the courses you can kind of explore. So like K12, there's WordForce. You can explore the, the different ones. So this is um, early literacy. And you can preview the course, which allows you to kind of see things. It gives you all the different sections. And it's nice. It comes with lesson plans. What grade are you in? Okay. That caught me off guard. So let's say I'm in pre-K. So you go in, and it should be like a fun little game. Somewhere in orbit around the Earth is the Word Force Command Center. Now the Word Force needs you. Help the Word Force plant the last of the seeds of hope while finding parts to fix their space station so they can continue saving the world. Word Force, go! <laughs> so it's a fun little introduction with some groovy music. Commander, the ice is breaking apart and separating a polar bear family. They need our help. To change bug to hug. Change one letter sound to change dig to dish. We're making chip. So what sound needs to go at the chip? Yeah. It's ch. The digraph C yeah. H. Chip. The baby polar bear needs to get back to its family. We can build a bridge by changing one letter of a word to make a new word. This is the word man. What letter do we need to change to make the word can? Right, we need to change the M, M, to C. K. Select the block with C, then select the M in man. Change man. K. You did it. Keep going to reunite the polar bear family. Change bug to hug. Change vet to set. All right, that's enough of that. So there's an example of like a low level um, early literacy course that they have. So we can see here it has all their courses. Um, so from like health, like alcohol education, black history, uh, a lot of financial stuff. So like building credit, um, data science, bank fraud, how crypto works, cryptocurrency, and a lot of character development, uh, data science, literacy. We'll look at this future goals hockey school. This is a really intense, like intensive one um, that a lot of work went into it with a partnership with the NHL and the Ottawa Senators. And... What's nice is a lot of these are, not all of them are offered in French, so you can actually look and change your language to French Canadian. Um, so you can see some of these are are translated, so you can see that these are offered in French. So not all of them are offered in French, but like this Future Goals Hockey Math and Science is offered in French. And some of these security ones, so there's there's a few on there. So for people who teach in French, you can check this out because there still are resources as well so it's pretty cool looking at this future goals one you can go to details preview course and there's a this is it's nice a lot of it's interactive it reads to the students or they can read along so it'll help with that accessibility piece welcome as well. I'm so glad you're here I'm the head coach and we've had a skip the tutorial so 
there's different games they can do to get different trophies. Each of the games kind of tackles a different skill. Uh, you can look at the player roster uh, to see stats on the players. Um, anyway, let's check out some of the games. So there's Uncover the Ice, which is area. So we're uncovering the ice after a basketball game. So we need to take off the floor covering to expose the ice. So the students can practice like counting, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 3. So that's 18. Good. So after they've done the counting one, it kind of starts leaving some information out. So then we click. So it'll give you how many they can count on the bottom, but then it tells you how many rows there are. So we have 7 by 5. And then finally, they leave all the information out, and then it's just like five by six. Okay, so anyway, it allows you to work with the area formula for rectangles uh, really easily. Another good one is this uh, Ignition Digital Wellness. This is the last one we'll kind of look at very briefly, so you can preview the course. And it tells you this one is available in French. Welcome to Ignition. The world is smaller than you think. Going online can put the world at your fingertips, but being connected also has risks. Let's pop it in French, and then we'll see how well I do. Bienvenue chez Ignition. Le monde est plus petit que tu ne le penses. Allez. Nouveau, pour commencer le cours, clique sur l'image d'un avatar si... Woohoo! Commençons! Commençons la leçon. Je te présente Alice. Elle aime partager ce qui se passe dans sa vie sur les médias sociaux. Cela l'aide à rester en contact avec sa famille. So, this is all about kind of social media safety and like posting too much or anything like that. So, it's a good course for students, especially younger students to have before they start posting all of their information online for everybody all the time. And you can turn on listening or turn off listening. So, if a student just wants to read it, they can or if they need the, the help with hearing it while they read. Um... You can do that. La publication d'Alice a tout de suite été vue par sa meilleure amie, qui l'a également partagée avec toutes ses amies. La publication était populaire auprès de nombreux camarades de classe d'Alice, qui ont laissé des commentaires. So yeah, it's just talking about how she sent it to a friend, they sent it to a friend, and then their friends see it, and then everybody's seeing her information, etc. Les élèves des écoles voisines, notamment l'école de l'équipe adverse, ont vu le message. Oh, now it's spreading from community to community. So... There's a lot of great stuff on here. So all you have to do is you're going to go into my classes. You can create a class. I'll switch it back to English for myself. So I did like a test class. So if you create a class, you can say test two. We're starting now. Choose your class size between 15 and 45. Choose your grade level. Let's say seven. And then you can add courses. So depending on what you choose, it'll kind of filter through those courses to give you a better idea of what you can do. So let's do sustainability. So boom. Then we create a class. So now we have our thing. So now you can create a registration code and your students can sign up for it. Uh, or if you have younger students, you can create accounts for each student. And so like boom. So that would be what I'd put up on the board for my grade sevens to join. What's nice is in the dashboard here, you can see like how many have started, how many haven't started, and how many have finished. And if you click on it, it'll give you even more information. So their names, their login, and it'll give you more information about like how far they went. But I don't have anything in here yet, so there's nothing to really show you. So anyway, it's a great resource. You can check it out, see if it works for you in your classes. And hopefully you find something that does work. If not, all good. But uh, it's definitely a nice uh, way to supplement some learning. All right. Thanks for joining me this week and we'll see you in the next one.